So what, what is your website called? What is the... Uh, a starting point. A starting point. If you guys could get that sweet spot where people on both sides listen to you. Hey, what's going on, dude? Um, okay, I'm going to try. I, I wrote some of this down, but mostly I'm winging it. It was an idea I had in 2017. I was watching the news, and there was something I didn't understand, and I went to Google it. And right away, I was in the weeds. There was just this mountain of information to sift through. And I thought, what if there was a way that I could get not only concise answers to common questions, but get the answers from the elected officials themselves? I take a lot of my ideas to Mark because he brings those ideas to life. Honestly, I was instantly inspired. It was a great idea. We start with a huge list of questions, every question we can possibly think of. You send it to every politician in D.C. You say you pick the ones you want to answer. You get at least, in my opinion, at least three. I think at least three, three Democrats, three Republicans to answer each question, and you keep them all to about a minute, maybe two minutes. It really was just, you know, where do we start? How do we do this? I thought, okay, well, I'll make a video, and we'll send it out to the politicians, and who wouldn't want to be a part of this? And there actually are three incarnations of it. One of them, one of them I filmed in my bedroom on my laptop. Hi, I'm Chris Evans. If you're watching this video, it's because I'm hoping you'll be interested in being a part of a new media platform we're developing. It was terrible. It was, it was embarrassing. Then I did another one on my kitchen table, and that was just as terrible. Finally, we did one in L.A. It was me sitting on my couch saying, hi, I, you know, I'm Chris. I'm trying to do this thing. And it was the, the very beginning of the idea itself. It turns out a lot of people thought it was a joke. joke. Honestly, we have a lot of responses. People think it's a bot or it's uh, fake. Most people just didn't respond. We just got no response. Says, why on earth would Chris Evans say the video? And you think, man, this is going to be a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. So I went to my friend Joe Chiani, who has been working in politics for years through philanthropic efforts, and I said, can you help get some politicians to talk to us? Nice to see you again. Joe, how you doing, buddy? It was terrifying and exciting. Exciting because we were doing something new, exciting because it felt like we were of service. Terrifying, Terrifying because four people had just said they were going to do it. Initially, it was very hard to get people to trust us. There have been so many Hollywood celebrities who have come through and sure. essentially tricked members yeah. of Congress. And, uh, and how you feel to trust us? I'm happy to jump on the phone or get a coffee or whatever. Whatever is necessary to kind of put their concerns at ease. So every time someone would leave and say, hey, thanks, that was really actually enjoyable, please tell your friends. Right. Please tell everybody. Anything we can do to help? Yeah, yeah, well, spread the word. Spread the word. We spread the word. Yeah. We, to, we just want to let them to their God. Best, best, best friends. He needs to do this. This is an opportunity for you to get to a wide audience, but hold, hold on. Here, here, here he is. Hold on a second. <laughs> I was like, ah, bleh! We, we'd love to have you come down and, and you know, just uh, nothing you don't want to answer. And the next day, Tim Scott came in. It was amazing. Well, every time we'd go back, you'd look at the schedule for that coming week, and there would just be more and more and more names, and you'd realize, okay, this is actually working. I think it's such a great idea to try to sort of demystify some of these policy issues. You're trying to create an atmosphere where there's a dialogue. While we were getting questions and trying to figure out the narrative of the site, there's this team of technicians putting together a very robust technology. That was one of the most exciting things for me, being able to be in a room with people and kind of say, this is how I want it to look, and this is what we think is the most effective approach, and then seeing it in real time and then taking that product back to D.C. and and seeing other people's eyes light up and get excited about the mechanism and actually saying, this is what it'll look like. This is how we'll convey the information that you want to convey. That's when we really felt like we were gaining steam. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. So the first section is called Starting Points, short answers to common questions. When you click on a question, you'll see both the Democratic and Republican responses. Each contributor has a chance to attach links to further information on the issue. The more we would go back, the more we would do these interviews, the more we realized that there was a lot of issues that these elected officials wanted to talk about that didn't fit into the mechanism of Section 1. I'm not short. I want to give you details. You don't have enough time for me to explain. I can explain that, but I don't know if that fits in one of your questions. It just felt like there was a piece missing. And we started to realize this can be more than just static information. This can be a channel of, of constant information. This is where we were talking about the threads. There's this, this idea that I think still needs some massaging. Maybe, maybe they can do a 60 second video once a week. And then we thought, well, maybe why once a week? Maybe once a day. And then we thought, you know what? Why not whenever they want? How about all the time? Why, why deny this kind of channel of connectivity? So sections two and three were born. The second section is called Daily Points. Daily Points is an open forum where elected officials can upload 60-second videos on anything they want. If it's an issue in your district, yeah. do it from there. Highlight that. So it could be just like the issue du jour. So like we're talking about war powers today. Hey, I'm about to go give a speech on this topic. It's really important. Here's what I'm going to say. You can make 20 a day if you want. Section 1 informs. I think Section 2 
connects, yeah. I think Section 3 explores. explores. One of the best ways to explore an issue is through debate. Uh, and, and unfortunately, when you have these televised debates, the inertia moves off topic. Yeah. Someone makes a great yeah. point. Before you get a chance to hear the response, it splinters. So with counterpoints, it's a way to have a connected, focused discussion around an issue. Section 3 is called counterpoints. It's a back and forth discussion between two elected officials from across the aisle on any issue they want to explore. All their videos are shot in 60 seconds. Things that we feel may be less productive reward mechanisms, we try to remove those. No likes or dislikes on this side. The whole side. side. No likes or dislikes, no messages. No comment section. Uh, you can't flame me, trash me, smear exactly. me, well, we me. Oh, not Where's here. the hole? Oh, we'll, oh, we'll, we'll do that, that in our social we'll circle. For as nervous as we were in the beginning, coming back each time to the place we knew, to people that were familiar, and started to feel like we were doing something that was working and that people wanted to participate in. Well, we're going to have to get you a permanent office. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle sure. that. Yeah. The hope is that we can become synonymous with an unbiased presentation of what is going on in Washington. The goal is to present this information as best we can without tipping the scales, to make sure voters understand the issues clearly and that their voices can be heard. I got into politics because I wanted to help people. Bigger diversity of voices. To do good. Climate change. Veterans issues. A recognition that other people may have different points of view, but that we're all American, that we love our country very deeply. The more people involved in politics, the better. And hopefully for the people who have no experience in this arena, will find this site to be a intuitive and friendly access point. This is a platform of communication around the electorate. You know, it doesn't sound that sexy when you put it that way. But <laughs> <laughs> woohoo! <laughs> but so sign up.